Uh, I hope you are doing well and I also hope that you have already completed the previous tutorial that I already uploaded in the YouTube. So today I'm going to show you how to prepare the gridded precipitation product and how to make the gridded time series precipitation from XMRG the precipitation. So we got this XMRG precipitation product from WZRFC means uh, West Gulf River Forecasting Center and uh, I have a lot of values for this precipitation but for this tutorial I'm going to show you the calculation for only one month. So I'm going to show you the calculation for the month of August 2017. So what do you need to create this uh, gridded precipitation from this? So the files are XMRG and here you can see we have 33 files. That means now we have 31 uh, daily precipitation data and the file name is showing the 24 hour XMRG file. So for preparing the time series, you need another executable. The name of the executable is uh, grid load XMRG. So basically this executable is uh, written in uh, C++ programming language. So we will use the uh, exe file here. But for processing all these files together and if you want to make a single time series, so you have to follow a different step. That's why I have written a code in a bash scripting. So it, basically it is bash scripting and the file extension is dot bat here. So if I open this file in notepad you can see how it looks like. So it is the standard format. I'm just defining the echo. I'm uh, putting it in offline mode and then just I'm uh, setting it as local, enabling the layer expansion. So it is the header of this scripting system. So if you are familiar with this thing, you can easily modify your own code. So, and then I'm just making a for loop here, right? So I'm reading the all file. See, here it is a 24 hour XMRG and then the while card it is a star that means it will read all the file that are started with 24 hour XMRG and then it will and the rest of the file whatever the other part of the file but it will read only the file which has the uh, preliminary this digit at the beginning right and then this is the standard format so and after that it will call this executable grid load XMRG and then I'm just declaring this XMRG as this G G is the variable here uh, so those who are familiar with the R uh, for loop or any other uh, looping type of issues you know how to work with the recursive mode and then I'm just uh, putting the name of the file, the DSS file, it is the data storage system. I am preparing this uh, data for my HECSMS model. So HECSMS model is only compatible with this DSS format. So if your model is a gridded model, so you have to make the gridded precipitation. And this is the way, this is the only way you can make the gridded precipitation if your model is the grid model otherwise for the lumped model you need the gauge precipitation and you have to make the time series that we are also doing in the different uh, tutorials so and these are the standard steps so I'm just preparing a path see after specifying the name of the file so my file name will be August 20 5 and then dash 31 underscore 2017 and the extension is DSS and the grid is SHG it is the standard hard logic grid so if you create your model like 
a one kilometer or two kilometer by two kilometer grid so this is your standard grid or you can change your grid to three kilometer or four kilometer but there are other type special type of grid it is ace wrap ace wrap means hydrologic river analysis project h wrap so the size of the ace wrap is 4.76 kilometer so by default the wg rfc files are in ace wrap so i can just change it to ace wrap or i can uh, make it a standard uh, grid because i have prepared my model in a grid uh, which has two kilometer by two kilometer grid size that's why i'm specifying here it, it is shg standard hydrologic grid and then the name of the site is wgrfc and the f part that is the last part of the uh, file path it is the precif you can specify here the precif 3 or precif 4 it is the standard uh, way of defining the path name so and then i'm just ending the local and i'm just ending the loop here this is the standard way of creating any bass scripting so what you have to do you can just click on this file it will start running or you can just copy this directory and as before you can open a command window here and then paste the directory and now you are just see you are inside this directory where you have already pasted your xmrg files so i can run the script from here see it is there if i just hit enter it will start creating the dss file from this xmrg precipitation file so i have the precipitation file for the west gulf and now i'm just hitting the enter and let's see what it can create yeah so it started calculating see already it created this august 25th 31st and uh, 2017 so it is adding the file one by one so if i just open this file for opening this file you need what do you need you need dss hack dss view see the ca calculation is completed it is uh, pretty fast right so by this time let's see what it has created here right if i click here and then see the part a it is shg part b it is the wgrfc part c it is precip and part d it is specifying the time part e it is also specifying the ending time and then the last part f it is also the precip and if i want to see what it has created i have to click here plot and it is there see it has created this uh, precipitation so it is only for one day and uh, if i click the other link or other file th these are the dss file if i click here yeah this is another precipitation these are the gridded precipitation and let's see the size of the grid if you click on the info here it will show the property right so the cell size is 2000 means it is 2000 meter to a kilometer here and uh, you have the coordinate lower left corner it is uh, the coordinate here and the number of grid is there and what is the minimum value and what is the maximum value here so it is also there and uh, let's see if i just specify the grid as age wrap what will happen so i'm just changing here the grid size it is now age wrap h r a p age wrap and i'm keeping the 
previous one that's why I'm changing the name of the file it will now create the August 2017 right so I'm saving the script and if I click on this script it is also okay see it's started calculating the graded precipitation and it is there the file name is August 2017 if I open this for opening outside of your HEC SMS model you need this file see the part A it is HRAP if I click here I have the precipitation grid here and uh, if I s open the property it is there see it is 4762.5 that means it is 4.76 kilometer by 4.76 kilometer and the x corner now it is different because my, my grid size is different and the number of cell it is also different from the other so based on your requirement you can easily create your grid in your HEC SMS model and your grid size and your precipitation grid should be similar right otherwise if there is any now discrepancy or any difference in the grid so your model will not run and there will be problem so that's why we have to be careful right so this is how we can create a graded precipitation if your model is graded model so in the in other tutorial I'll show how to download this XMRG files from WGRFC or any other uh, website so that's why you need a different code we have a different code for downloading this uh, file in a recursive mode uh, you can use a Linux uh, server and you can use a shell scripting for downloading this file so I'll show you so now I have my DSS file and then I can easily just import this DSS file I don't need to create any uh, gaze or any time series because this is the time series the model will understand the grid by grid precipitation and then it will calculate the runoff and then it will generate the total stream flow at the outlet of any sub watershed or any sub basin yeah so this is for today and then if you have any query regarding this so you have to download the executable grid load xmrg so if you have any difficulties with uh, downloading this executables or any other query you can just let me know so i can share my code and i can just share my ex executables also there are some other executable if you have any ascii file or any text file so you can also create using the same uh, script but you have different executable it is a grid load XMRG for this case but we have grid load net CDF we have ASCII to DSS file and from the DSS file you can also create ASCII file we have different executable name DSS to ASCII so there are different four different types of executables that have four different types of work so okay this is for today and I'm um, going to end my tutorial he here so if you have any query or any suggestion you can give it to me and in my future tutorial I'll try to impose that suggestion and I'll also modify if you have any difficulties following this tutorial so okay thank you very much for watching